Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com on Machine 2.0. And I was getting some questions in regards to getting the color assignment set up. So, okay, let's jump into it. There's a couple of ways you can do it. Actually, as you know, you can, um, you know, you can put your colors on scenes, groups and patterns and sounds. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll jump over here under file. We'll jump over under preferences. We'll jump down to colors. Now you immediately notice in your preferences menu, you have scene, color, group, sound, and also load projects, you know, with colors, there's no pattern icon right here. So I'm going to help you with a more or less, uh, the VIP member who was saying, you know, they want to know how to color assign their patterns. They were right clicking on it and they kept erasing. <laughs> so I, you know, I, I understand that man, because you know, I know to some people, you know, they're like, that isn't nothing, but I understand for people who are new and they want to get a grasp on it. So basically that's what this tutorial is for. So under your preferences, you can set up your scene colors. It defaults to a white color. You don't have to have that. You can set it to auto, which will automatically assign your scenes of color as you create new scenes. Um, but that's completely up to you. Um, I think that makes things more neat and more organized if you do do that. But again, that's, you know, your, your preference, same thing with your group color. You know, you can set up a specific group color, um, nine times out of 10, just leave it on auto. Cause it just makes life easier when machine, when you're creating new groups, machine automatically assigns a, um, a new color and your sound colors, you know, you can use the group color, or if you want to have things more neat and organized, you can go ahead and put your, you know, your kicks is green or your snares is blue or you know, however you want to do it so you can make finding that sound a lot more easier. You know, when you're looking down at the hardware controller on the MK one, um, you still can be organized because you have the ability to still visually see where your sounds are color assigned. So makes no difference. I mean, you know, you still have the software side of things to see, you know, your colors if you're on the MK one. Okay. So that's basically where you get all that set up there and you have an option here. If you don't want to load with colors at all, if you're just somebody who says, Hey, look, I'm not even, I don't care about those colors. <laughs> I don't want to see them. You know, you can select there and turn it off. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump over here. As you know, on a sound level, you can, you can right click here. You can go to color and you can assign uh, colors like so, you know, you can have your kicks in one color snares and, and others, you know, just to make things more neat and more organized, you notice, um, it has like these like little bars and that's where your colors show up like that. And when you click on them, it kind of fills up this whole like little box here, you know, and then you can mute sounds and bring sounds back and things of that nature. So if you click here, it kind of turns them off or mutes them. You can do this from the, um, the hardware as well, but you know, if you want to mute some sounds, that's how you do it. Okay. So that's just scrolling through a couple just to give you an idea. And this brings up the patterns like so. So when you come into your patterns, you can right click and assign colors like so. You know, if you want to have your patterns neat and organized like that, and these colors will show up on your pads if you have the MK2 or the Machine Studio. And I felt this was some, you know, important information because on that preference screen, it didn't have the ability to, you know, have defaults on your patterns. So, you know, or rather set up, you know, auto patterns and things of that nature. So, you know, if you want to come over here and just, you know, create patterns and, you know, come in here and color assign them, that's basically how you do it. And, you know, you can come in here and, you know, you can move them around and, you know, if, if you want to rearrange your patterns to a certain way, or you're like, okay, I need this one here, or I need this one here. It's basically how you do it. And they all get, rearranged like so like you can see like a little bit of color right there in the back barely if I come over here and go on top of this guy he erases it so you know you can overwrite patterns like this you know that's basically how you do that so you can imagine how that works for scenes you know if you want your scenes to color coordinate with your patterns you can do that too if that makes it a lot more easier to uh, find your patterns like this here so yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Short and right to the point. It's your boy Fontaine of the VIP Sound Lab, just doing some color assignments on the pads so you can get a lot more neat and a lot more organized in your productions. So it's just a little fun little tutorial, you know, 
just going through some of those, you know, color assignments like that. So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys. Oh, other than your groups. I didn't mention that, did I? You also can color assign your groups as well up here. You you don't have to go by the uh, default colors. You know, if you want to change the color of a group, you can do that. You you know, if you want it to be a specific color that you're not feeling, you know, when machine automatically assigns it, that's how you can do that. You know, so now that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's your boy Fontaine of the VIP Sound Lab, and I will see you guys on the next one. Need weapons for your lab? Get industry standard professional drum libraries, free machine tutorials, machine expansions, and more. And more. Keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com.